Hello, welcome to another video. What we've got today is a web scraper using beautiful soap and I'm writing it so that I can scrape this site which has got some anti-scraping measures in place. Um, they have an API but the person who wants this spider doesn't want to pay for the API. I suspect it's probably quite expensive. Um, what we're scraping is houses for sale, which I believe is Kaufen House House, and I'm just doing Wolfsburg. So if we look, I'm at the uh, the main URL, the start URL, Immobilien Scout 24DE. If I go search, Ich bin kein Roboter. Now you saw that flash up. That actually stops uh, Scrapey or even um, Selenium from working properly. I have found that it, when I was testing I was able to use Beautiful Soup and funnily enough, believe it or not, I could get five results each time. Now, this was several days ago and what I did was I inserted some random randomness and some sleep what I've actually got now is sleep for 60 seconds while I switch my VPN. So I'll post all this code at the end, but effectively what we're scraping the site for is the usual property address, price, postcode, living space, rooms, parking. Uh, I can't remember what those two words are. I translated most of them to English, but there were two words which I didn't think would translate very well, so I left them. And main driver fetch parents fetch parent is this function and it gets a response looks for all the hrefs and then it builds the list and because there are duplicates it then use I use set because I've used set I then have to change the set back into a list so that I can iterate through it and then I've enumerated it so that I can then say once mod 5 equals 4, so I've collected 5 results, then I need to switch to VPN. And why do I need to do that? Well, all will become clear. So if you're ready to watch me test it, I think I'm connected with VPN. We'll soon find out anyway. So, um, shortcut. There we go. 200 response, which is good. And I've got two, three, four, five. Switch VPN. Now, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show you what happens if I don't switch the VPN. If I don't switch it, I think you know what's going to happen, as I've already alluded to. We will get an error. And if I just drag that down while we're waiting you'll be able to see that I'm writing the results to a CSV and if the file exists then it writes the rows if the file doesn't exist then it writes the header and then writes the rows so that's quite a nice way because otherwise if you're looping through a load of results you don't want to write the header each time otherwise you would end up with header result header result and that just ends up giving you a CSV which is twice as big as you really want. So I think I put a 60 second. Right, there we go. The 60 seconds are up and I've got a load of asterisks. Why have I got a load of asterisks? <laughs> if you look here, print. So at the start of past details, it's going off to pass the details page for each of the cards in the main listing. So I'm going to stop that now. <laughs> and what I had to do was a lot of testing. I've tried various different approaches. What I've ended up doing is on my Raspberry Pi and I've tested this in my spider. What I've ended up doing is writing something called VPN Rotate. 
which I'm going to use. In, I'll probably follow this video with uh, a progress report, but I thought I'd show you this so far because this could be applied to um, whether you're downloading torrents or what other activities you might be up to. So if you're ready to see this, VPN rotate. <laughs> that might not look very impressive, but I can assure you it is. What we've got, or what I had, was, excuse the, um, the random large flags. I'm not sure why that is. There's some kind of Excel funniness going on there. Um, most good VPN providers will give you a large list of worldwide VPN server addresses, which if you can see here, uh, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, and so on and so on. Fortunately, they've been quite good and they've used the same ports, TCP ports, proxies, and everything. So the only thing that changes is the server address or the, the host name. So what I've managed to do is I've imported that list and I've written some code which, if you'd like to see the full code, is here. Now, VPN rotate, we have server, so that's a variable, and what we do is we concatenate cat the private VPN config file and we grep it for the word remote. When we find the word remote, we cut out um, the second field. The second field is equal to this. See this here? That is the second field. In fact, all of column C is the second field. So, what I want to do is, if that one's currently in use, then I want to go to the next one. And if that one's, so effectively what we've got is we've got 90, I think that's 91, 90, 91, doesn't matter. Nine, call it 90, VPN addresses that we can use. So, every fifth result, I can disconnect, reconnect to the next one, get five more results. Now, that might seem a bit laborious. Bear in mind, this is going to be running on a Raspberry Pi, which is just idling 24-7. So, we'll pick out the current host, which is um, the second field. Then the next server, we're going to look through this file called list.txt which is basically a text file full of the data from column C. We'll grep through that and then using grep A1 we get the next server in the list and then down here we say um, what well, this is what we will always run so we're just going to use said and we're going to substitute um, the, we're going to put the new server in place of the old server and that's going to go into private vpn.conf. If, if um, next server 2 um, what we do here is we say if there's no next server 2 then we just go to the head of the list which is, I think it's Argentina, isn't it? So there we go. So at the start, it will jump to Argentina. So if you're ready to see me demonstrate this on the Pi, let's go for it, shall we? I'm halfway through testing it, so you can see it goes from JP, which I'm guessing is Japan, to Japan 2. Run it again, old server is Japan 2, and next it goes to LV, which is probably, is it Latvia, Riga? Then, then it goes to Lithuania, <laughs> Luxembourg, 
Kuala Lumpur, is that? I don't know. MT, Quar, Mexico, China, Amsterdam, New Zealand, Oslo. I'm not going to go through all 90, that would be quite boring. But um, I thought this would be interesting just to show you VPN Rotate. And what I'm going to do is leave it running on the Raspberry Pi because that's a good place to use it really because I don't care if that's on 24 7 it's not going to use lots of electric and it's not going to make lots of noise so if you just want to see the, um, the the result of so currently the new server should be pa.pan and let's have a look it there we go pa-pan now I did have an issue which took me several hours or a couple of hours to get around because uh, I don't know I was struggling a bit what I was getting was I actually had that down on the second line you see that this is I had this and the reason was I had the carriage returns in my text file which I obviously needed to otherwise it would all just been one long paragraph and then I would have struggled with my code which uh, sorry um, get back to let's go sudo micro and there we go so what I had to do was this and line 9 here um, without this the whole thing falls over so the next server we had to echo the next server to said and then we had to do substitute um, the returns for nothing and then we made it greedy so that did all of it save and if you'd like to use this code this can pretty much be modified for any VPN provider obviously I use private VPN and uh, they've got about 90 servers so I, in, I'm just going to run through all of those with my um, spider and let's say I'll do another vid follow up video to this but for the time being I think this is quite interesting and I'll keep this just as a VPN video and next time we'll look a bit more at the spider and hopefully by then I'll have tested it over a day or two and um, really I'm thinking five results um, then change the VPN so it's probably just over a minute each time so 90 probably 90 minutes to get five times 90 450 results I may end up writing them to a database in actual fact because then I can check for duplicates because if we're looking at a property listings page there's no point getting 450 results every day if they're the same ones um, so yeah there we go anyway hope this has been interesting I'll be back with some probably a follow-up video to this and um, I'll put a link to the VPN rotator in the uh, comments description comments description yeah that's it anyway um, yeah that's it bye